The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Hello again, everybody. I'm Captain Dennis with Squalls Marine Divers, and today we're going to dive the North Shore of Long Island, North Port to be exact, just off of Eaton's Neck. We're going to be diving a wreck called the Gwendolyn Steers. Here's a side scan sonar image of the wreck, and it looks to me like a pretty intact tugboat. Today I'm diving with dive instructor Steve Coe from Scuba, Connecticut. I'm pretty excited to see a fully intact wreck in the sound. Most of the stuff that I've found in Bridgeport is really remnants. This here is the smokestack or the funnel. We dropped in on the starboard side of the ship and here I'm making my way forward. We're just aft of the pilot house. This is the doorway into the pilot house. We're not doing any penetration diving today, so we're just going to stay on the outside. This is the roof of the tugboat. And here's one of the windows. Cannot see anything inside. Really did the best we could to look in there. This is the starboard gunnel. Here's somebody's lost grappling hook. Somebody tried to hook in and they did. Problem is they couldn't unhook. Here is the starboard entryway or doorway into the front forward pilot house. All the windows are gone. going to lean in through the window and this is what it would look like if you were inside. Now we're going to follow the gunnel down towards the bow. Here we have some steps that lead to the bow down from the pilot house. I'm really surprised I expected more fish in line and more fish in weights. I also expected more fish. Here we have an open hatch on the bow. And here we have the Gwendolyn Steers H bits. Pretty massive. This must have towed some pretty heavy duty stuff. Just a quick check on my computer and we're at 37 feet on the bow. Here is the very, very tip of the bow. See an enemy's growing on it. These are the H bits with Steve in the frame for some scale. This 
Steve just taking a peek in the pilot house. See if we can see anything. There's a silty mess in here. Now we're going to make our way aft a little bit. I'm going to wrap up this grappling hook. Keep people from getting tangled up and getting lines caught up in it. Now here we are aft the pilot house on the smokestack or the funnel. Just want to go up top and take a look see. I was really surprised when I got up here because I thought it would be a big giant hole. Apparently it's not. Now all these white things I'm not sure what they are. Like I said, not a marine biologist. But um, if you touch them with bare skin, your hands will go numb for a little while. Here's some more hatches aft of the funnel. I'm trying to look inside, and as you can see, you can't see much. We're now aft the midships and we're working our way down. Just want to make sure my anchor's okay so we can get it out of here. There it is. Getting a little siltier here because I'm bumping up against things. Just don't want to lose my anchor. And you'll see why in a few short moments. There's my chain. Most dive boats would grapple in where they would tie in so that they're fixed to the ship itself we didn't really do that as you can see here my lines kind of wrapped around this and so some other lines some lobster warp and there's some lumar chain here awfully expensive stuff to lose here's a lobster trap and then you can see this yeah, that's a plow anchor. Pretty expensive one, too, I think. It's caught up in this ladder, and we're probably on the first deck right now, dropping down. I was thinking about taking this anchor, but it had so much chain, I really wasn't prepared to recover it. So if you want to go back, knock yourself out. There's an anchor there. There's actually a few of them. Well, you look at that. We see our first fish. I think there's more fish here. I just think that they're steering clear of the two guys. Making a big old cloudy mess and blowing bubbles real loud. Now I'm on the port side and I'm heading forward. We hardly scratched the surface of the Gwendolyn steers on this dive. There's a lot more to see on this wreck, so we'll have to go back and make a second video. Here are some stairs making their way up to the pilot house. Here's the base of the door. Here's the gunnel. Floor inside of the pilot house. Looking up through the door. And some more stairs back down to the bow. On the port bow. Here's some more stairs going down to the bow. I just want to turn around and see what's behind here. Basically a bunch of cunner. Here we are now on the bow. Big open hatch on the bow. Here's the 
Connell again, port side. Somebody, I don't know if this is a scongeal trap or somebody lost something in here. It's all wrapped up in the H bits. Now I'm going to just jump outside of the boat and I want to go down to the bow as it rests in the mud just to see what the bottom looks like. Deeper, a little deeper. And another fish. Doesn't seem to be too worried about me. What, no bow eye? How did they trailer this? Just kidding, folks. And here we are. Pretty much at the bottom. Looking up at her. And you can see here we're at 51 feet. So we're going to make our way back up to the top, me and Steve doing our safety stop. And we'd like to say thanks for checking us out once more. You can find us at SqualusMarine.com, Squalus Marine Divers on Facebook, and we're on Instagram under Squalus Marine. If you have a location that you'd like to see filmed, drop us a line. If you're in Northport, Long Island, or in the area, and you're interested in becoming a scuba diver, why not check out North Shore Aquatics? They've got everything you need to become a great scuba diver. So be sure and check them out. Until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.